So, if you don't know, I have tried to make digital painting with a traditional painterly look like this. I'm very happy with the result, but I've been wondering lately how I can make this certain texture and I think I can use some default tools and tweak the settings a little bit to recreate certain effect. And then I found it. I make this test and make a painting to see if it works well. And on this video, I will show you how I made that from making the brush and make the thick oil paint texture in Photoshop, no downloading any add-ons. So I've made some brush right here, but I don't feel like I have a brush that can mimic the traditional paint brush. To make a brush that can emulate the traditional brush, we have a tool here called Mixer Brush. When you change the wet percentage into 100%, it will it will blend like this. It's very good for a painterly style painting. You can control and mix the color together. And for the mix percentage, I will stick the the low percent percentage around seven or fifteen maybe. I'll go with seven percent. But the texture, I don't really get the texture that I quite like with my brush right now. So let's make one custom brush from scratch, shall we? So let's hide this and make a new layer. Pick a normal brush and just use a basic brush. I'm thinking like a, a flat brush than what it will look like. Maybe like this with little dots like this maybe. Just play around here and use your imagination you can draw the the brush stamp as you want yep that that looks uh, good right now maybe change a little bit all right and now we are going to apply this as the brush tip click edit and Define brush preset Name the brush oil paint flat and okay Yeah, now we have the brush Now we are going to edit the brush setting until we get the brush that we are looking for so For the first one shape dynamic size jitter will change to pen pressure Yep, now it has the pressure sensitivity like this. This is good. And then transfer, returning the opacity jitter off and set the flow jitter to pen pressure. We are using flow instead of opacity because flow we have more like traditional it just give more organic feelings to me and build up this will make each brush strokes will adding on top of each other's back to shape dynamics set the size jitter to pen pressure and angle jitter to pen tilt okay now the brush is done. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, now we are going to save the brush. Just press the plus button and name it as you want. Here I give it 
oil paint flat and ok open the brush and drag it up into the place of your custom brush ok it's pretty good right now right yeah it can do the things like traditional painting the blend but we are missing the texture like a thick paint let me show you the example here how we can make the texture like this that is what are we going to make right now let's put this aside okay I'm thinking about a bevel and emboss maybe let's try what is it in in layer layer style bevel and emboss okay bevel and emboss all right but these are only the edge of the layer that get the thickness effect but we'll fix it later at least now we have the thickness effect that we can adjust you can play with the settings to fit your needs but if you want to follow mine here is it when you're brushing at the 8 you will get a black color like this you only need to turn off the sample all layer and you good to go all right let's move to a bigger canvas let's try it double click on the layer to layer style and turn on the bevel and emboss alright but it only affecting the edges I think we can make a separate layer separate the thickness effect and the painting layer make a new layer set the blending mode to darken double click on the layer and turn on the bevel and emboss and the setting will be following our settings before don't forget to pick what color and see what happened pick your brush and all right it worked let's try using the texture brush yeah this is working well let's continue texturing this you can tweak the setting if you think the texture is too thick or too thin just change the depth and size until it fits but we are trying to achieve this right so i think the way to make something like that is by tracking back our brush strokes in our layer with bevel and emboss let's select our brush back and follow the brush strokes on the painting layer and we use eraser with the same brush to dig and brush to fill in by this we just need to track back the brush stroke that we have made and now we can make the thick paint texture and now I will show you how I use this in this demo painting I'll use everything that we have made in this video, the brush and the thick paint method. So let's get started.
now the painting is finished and it's time to make the texture new layer double click on the layer for opening layer style and click on bevel and emboss set the blending mode to darken and paint with white color on it Now we are almost done fixing the painting a little bit and 